And how do you manage, because we've got a long line here, are the various stages of quality control? Do we tick this one off here and tick that one off there? Or is there, or do you just continually do it? How do you sort of manage the, the quality? In our line, it's like this. We always have one quality inspector per line, one in assembly and one in the finishing area. The colleague who works in this department is knowledgeable about everything from electronics to weld seams to hydraulics. And as well as managing the quality on the production line, how do you manage the quality of the materials coming into the factory as well? That must be quite a, quite a strict process. That's where we have the incoming quality inspection. We order items as sample assemblies, as sample components. Then we do a complete inspection. We check the weld seams when we're dealing with welded assemblies. Or for electrical components, we measure them through. In Lingen, we have the Future Lab, where we validate individual components. That means electronic components, mainframes. We check whether the weld seams hold, whether they crack. 25 years ago, when we started here, we tried this out at the customer's site. Today, we test this internally within our company. And I suppose in this day and age of uncertain times around the world, whether it's political or whatever is going on, is it better to have multiple locations around the world where you can purchase materials from? It's always better to have at least two suppliers. One supplier drops out here, another can't deliver there or can't get the raw materials. We always have to be flexible so that we can deliver our customers' machines directly to them at any time. And in terms of the actual production process here, how has that changed for you over the years? When we started 25 years ago, it was all real manual work. We had to write everything down on paper and so on. We didn't have a database like we do today. Today we have databases. We can record everything in a sustainable way. It's easier for the customer today, if they have problems out in the field, to trace things quickly. Where do we need to be faster? Where can we react? Assembly itself, using the whole terminal we have today, 3D viewer, drawings, rotating, doing things, is much easier. Much easier. Of course, it was a huge challenge to build something like this. That included logistics, quality assurance and design. Constant optimization was always necessary. We always had to get faster and faster and the quality couldn't suffer as a result.